Hello everyone and welcome to week two of our Beaver sessions. So this week we're going to be talking all about Robert Burns and Tartan. But to start us off, we're going to play a quick game with Nicola. Okay, so hopefully everyone has got a fork, a knife and a spoon. So how this game works is you're all going to choose one of those. I will count down from three, so I'll go three, two, one, and you're going to show, like Laura's going to show, the item that you've chosen. Once everyone's shown up to the screen what they've got, I will then show what I've chosen, okay? So I'm going to have a quick practice. So I've chosen the one I've picked. Three, two, one. Brilliant, well done. Although I picked a fork, so unfortunately Laura's lost on that round. Okay, everyone got the idea of the game? Brilliant. Okay, so this is the real thing. So this time, if you get the correct one, you're going to give yourself a point. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, I picked a spoon. Oh, there's a few people with a spoon. Oh, well done. Okay. Three, two, one. Wow. Well done, guys. Nice. Most of you got that one. That was brilliant. Very good luck. All right. Three, Two, one. <laughs> I picked a knife again. Oh, I got to read that time. All right. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Well done. Quite a lot of you with the fork then. Well done, Laura. All right. Three, two, one. Ooh, I picked a spoon that time. Not many of you got the spoon. Brilliant. Well done. All right, one last round with me and then we're going to ask Laura to do some. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I picked the knife. Oh, there's only a few of you again. Oh, no. Laura, are you ready? Yeah, I only got two points that round. How many points did you all get? Right. Season four. Oh. And a three. There's a three there. <laughs> right then. So I'm going to have a go. So you ready? Three, two, one. Show me what you've picked. I picked a fork too. That's a point for Nicola and hopefully a point for a lot of you watching. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Picked a knife that time. No points for Nicola. I hope there's some points for you guys watching. All right then. Three, two, one. Oh, I went a bit soon then. Sorry, guys. I hope some of you picked a fork, though. Three, two, one. Show me what you've picked. Oh, I picked a spoon that time, too. That's good. That's a point for Nicola. Who else got a point? OK, right. Ready? Three, two, one. Show me what you picked. I picked a knife that time, no points for Nicola, but hopefully some points for some of you guys. And last go, three, two, one, show me what you've picked. I picked a fork for the last one. Ah, oh, how many points did you get, Nicola? Two. Not two. many. Oh, I hope some of you did better than Nicola. So, some of you might know but on Monday the 25th of January, it was Robert Burns night. Does anybody know who Robert Burns is? Put your hands up if you do. Some of you might have had your hands up, some of you might not. Now, Robert Burns is a famous poet from Scotland who lived 250 years ago, and he was born in Alloway in West Scotland. Now, he started off living on a farm with his dad, and he wrote songs when he was on the farm to impress girls. I wonder if they worked. Uh, he wrote songs and poems even after his dad died and he started working on the farm. And eventually he got a book published of all of his poems and everyone in Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland, loved it. And they invited him to come and live in Scotland, so uh, live in Edinburgh. So he lived in Edinburgh for quite a long time. And when he got a bit older, he got a job as a customs officer which meant that he could have a job and write poems at the same time. The poems that he wrote when he was a bit older were a bit more about equality and rich and poor people being
being able to live the same lives. Now his poems are quite famous and you might have heard a few of them before. And one of the main poems, songs that he wrote is called Old Lang Syne and we sing it every year at New Year's. Have you guys heard it before? Now, if you watch the video that's linked down in the description, you can hear some more facts about his life and some little parts of his poem and a little bit part of the song that we sing every year. So take a look if you want to find out a little bit more about him. Right then, so can anybody remember where I said Robert Burns was from? Anybody? If you're shouting out Scotland right now, you'd be right. Now, can anybody tell me what people in Scotland traditionally wear? What kind of clothes they traditionally wear? Nicola, do you know? I do. Everybody else guessed it? If you said kilts, you were right. So kilts are made up of a material called tartan. And you can see some examples of tartan that me and Nicola have got as our backgrounds. So tartan is um, a material that's made of three colours all weaved together. So you can see the different colours here. There's yellow, there's black, there's red. And each clan or family in Scotland has their own tartan. So today you're going to be making your own tartan for your clan or your family. Right then, guys, you're ready to make your tartan. So first of all, you need to pick three colours, either colouring pens or pencils or strips of paper that you can use. So Nicola's chosen to do strips of paper and she's chosen blue, yellow and green. And I'm using pens and I've got an orange pen, a pink pen, and a green pen. Hold up your pens and pencils and stuff at home. Woo! Right, so first off, so make sure you've got your three pens and also make sure you've got a piece of paper to draw your tartan on. You'll need some scissors if you do with card as well. Don't forget your scissors. So once you've got your scissors and your paper or your pens, unpause this video and we'll get to work making the tartan. Right then, hope everyone's got their materials ready. So first of all, you're gonna pick your main color. So my main color is going to be green. Nicola, what's your main color going to be? Mine's also going to be green. So if you're doing it in cards, make sure you've got three strips of card ready to go. Okie doke. So like Nicola just said, first of all, you're gonna to need to draw three thick, strips across your piece of paper. So a bit like how my one behind me has three red strips going horizontally across the material. That's what you need to do on your piece of paper. So I'm gonna do mine on my piece of paper now. And I'm just doing mine, just sticking it on with some sellotape. I'm gonna have to cut Remember some more sellotape though. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Remember, you can always pause this video if you need a little bit more time if we move on, move on before you're ready, okay? And you know what you could also do to make this video extra Scottish is play a Scottish song in the background, like uh, Flower of Scotland or any other Scottish songs that you might have heard. So can you all see what Nicola's done? So now, if you've drawn it, if you've coloured it, or if you're using bits of paper, your piece of paper should look like that with three horizontal stripes going across it. Okay then, let's move on to the next bit. And remember, if you're not ready, you can always pause the video. So now we're gonna do th two thick strips going down the piece of paper, going vertical. So a bit like how you can see behind me, I've got two red thick strips. So I'm gonna do that too on mine. I'm going to show you mine at the end. So I don't know if you guys know this, but a good fact about tartan is there's actually 25,000 different types of tartan that have been registered in Scotland. Now, every clan has its own tartan. That means every family has their own tartan. So if you have a Scottish family with a Scottish last name, you might be able to find your tartan online. So maybe ask your parent or guardian to help you out finding your Scottish tartan online. 
there's so many like i said there's twenty five thousand. and if you don't have a scottish uh name you can also make your own tartan and have it registered and approved by the tartan the board of tartan in scotland how cool would that be so look as you can see whether you've drawn it whether you've stuck it you should have like what nicola's got now with two vertical lines going straight down the page okay now we're going to move on to our second color now i've chosen for my second color to do orange so i've chosen my orange nicola what are you doing blue for? this time what are you guys doing at home what color have you chosen some of you might have chosen orange as well, or blue as well. Some of you might have a bit more of a different colour. You might have chosen a purple or a pink, which would be really exciting. Okay, so when you're ready, what you're going to have to do is draw three horizontal lines again, like you just did before, but this time they need to be much thinner. So as you can see, these white lines on my tartan are a lot thinner than the red lines that they're close to. So you can need to try to do one of those. And you can put these lines right next to the thick green lines that you've already drawn across, or you can space them out. You can make them however you want to look. And that's the great thing about tartan. It will always look cool, no matter where you put your lines. Is that now, okay as a first one, Laura? Yeah, that's exactly what you need to be doing. So you see what Nicola did? She just did a straight line underneath one of her thick green lines. Just need some more sellotape. <laughs> and remember, if we're going too fast, you can always pause the video and get colouring in. And once you finish your tartan, you maybe you could take a picture of it and get your parent or your guardian to upload it onto our Facebook group which is the Beaver County Sessions Facebook group. And then we can see what amazing tartans you're creating at home, even if we can't see them right now. Nearly done, just on the last one. So another great tartan fact is that since Scottish people have moved all over the world, they've actually taken their tartan with them. So people from Canada, oh yeah, look, Look at that. I hope yours looks like that too at home or very similar and that's what it should look like. So now let's move on to doing our vertical lines in the same colour. So I'm going to do my vertical lines in orange and Nicola will be doing hers in blue. And make sure when you're doing these vertical lines that they're the same. They're nice and thin just like these white ones on here and just like the ones that you've just drawn on your sheet of a paper. So yeah, like I was saying, since Scottish people have moved all over the world, some countries like Canada, where lots of Scottish people have moved to, have actually created their own tartans for the different areas and provinces in Canada. So it's really spread all over the world since Scottish people started wearing them and using the colours to identify their clans and their villages and where they live. Oh, look at that. So yours should look a bit like that too, whether you've drawn it or whether you've used paper to stick it, it should a bit like that. So can you see it coming together looking properly like tartan? So are we ready to move on to our last colour? Now what last colour are you doing, Nicola? I'm going yellow this time, my favourite colour. Ah, oh, I've decided to do pink, nice pink last colour. What about you guys at home? What colours have you picked? Anybody pick green? If you pick green, put your hand up. Anybody picked yellow like Nicola? If you've picked yellow, put your hand up. And if you've picked a red, put your hand up too. Oh, amazing guys. I hope all of your tartans are looking super funky right now with all the different colours that you've chosen. So for our last one, we're going to do exactly the same as we did with our different colours. So blue or orange and again we're going to draw three little thin lines going across our page going horizontal across our page i'm really hoping i get to see some of these pictures on facebook as well because i imagine you're making some really good ones and 
just like I keep saying, if we're going too fast, don't worry, you can always pause the video. We'll be here when you need us. There's some really colourful ones as well. Mm, I bet. If you've done a really colourful one, we especially want to see it. Or maybe you might have done one that's got a different cross, cross uh, design that we've not seen yet from either of ours. So another fact about Tartan that I have is that Tartan was actually banned by the King of England in the 1700s because Scottish people wanted to have their independence from England. And so the King thought it would be a good idea to try to ban Tartan to stop Scottish people being able to show off all their culture and their Scottish heritage. So that's a very interesting fact, isn't it? There's lots of historical tartan facts out there. And if you've got one, we'd love to hear about it. Or if you've got a family tartan, we'd love to see it as well. All right, I'm on the last one. <gasps> Amazing. So can you see how she's got three lines going across? And so last part of the tartan to do is the last two thin lines with your last color going down the page, going vertically down the page. So I've nearly finished mine now and I'm gonna show you guys mine that I've done. So I picked, oh, can you see it? Just a little bit with my background. So I've picked yellow not yellow. I've picked orange, pink and green as my main colour and this is what mine looks like. So it looks very different to the one I had behind me and the one Nicola had behind her earlier. But as you can see, there's so many different types and patterns that you can use to create tartan with and it always looks really unique and really individual. So whatever you've made, I bet it's so different to any of our designs. Oh, I think Nicola's mine. Well. Wow, look at that one. Oh, I love those colours. That's so good. Mm -hmm. So if you're at home in three, two, one, we're all going to hold up our tartan together. And remember, pause the video if you've not finished yet. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Woo! Wow, look at all you guys' tartan. Oh, that's so colourful. That's amazing. Well done, everyone. Brilliant. Okay. Unfortunately, it's come to the end of our session, guys. So we're going to have to say bye and hopefully we'll see you all next week. Have a good weekend.